Hey guys, it's John Dean here, and in this video today we're going to actually look at the published content module in Market Samurai, uh, and I'm going to walk you through how to use the tool, what all the little buttons mean, uh, and how to eventually save a draft of the first article ready to publish on your blog. So let's head on inside Market Samurai and take a look at the module. So here we are in Market Samurai. Uh, to get to the published content module, we simply click on this button on the left hand side that says Publish Content. And then in the next window, uh, we just want to create a new document by clicking on this button or on the title here that says New Document. This takes us into the New Document window and it's, um, it's quite a standard uh, text editor. Uh, but we've, we've actually got some formatting options in the toolbar along the top. And then in this first box is where we put our title. And the second box is where we put our main body content. And the box at the bottom is where we put any tags. Now I'm just going to walk you through um, these by showing you an example. Um, now I've already created a, a separate blog post um, in a text editor so I'm just going to copy and paste the content into the window here. Okay so as you can see I've got a blog post title on the move which is in this top uh, section here. And then I've got my body content of the blog post in the main window below it. Now we can go through and we can apply different formatting options to this text. Um, as you can see here, we've got a drop down box that uh, is paragraph. If I drop the box down, you can see we can choose quote and then headings one through six. We can change the font um, to these fonts that are in this drop down box here. The next two buttons are undo and redo and then we have some formatting options here uh, for bold, italic, underline and strike through. We can also make the text bigger and smaller and then we have bullet lists and numbered lists. We can also uh, left align, centre align or right align the text and we can change the font foreground colour and the font background colour. We can also remove all formatting options that we've applied if we want to get straight back to where we were. There's This button allows us to insert special characters. If I click on it you can see the special characters that are available there. And then the next two links are to insert a hyperlink and remove a hyperlink. We can also um, insert images and we can do a basic spell check. So just to show you how some of these work in action, if I highlight this line of text here that says don't be fooled, don't be fooled though, I can actually change this to a heading if I wanted to, so a heading one, and you'll see it automatically changes the formatting of the text there. Or if I leave it as a paragraph text, I can manually uh, bold or italicize, uh, even underline it. Um, I can also increase the size size of that font and if I wanted to change the colour to say red I can do that as well so as you can see now it's it's red um, however I don't want that I'm just gonna remove all my formatting options by click this remove formatting and you can see it's all back to normal so that's how easy it is to apply formatting to your text um, at the bottom here as well you'll see I sign off my blog post with my name and I like to link that back to my main blog so I've highlighted my name John Dean and I'm going to click on this insert hyperlink and then the URL I'm just going to have it go back to my blog johndean.org so I'm going to click on insert link and you can see now that's a link back to my blog so that's some um, basic options there and also if I wanted to re remove that link if I've if I've made an error or if I don't want to actually link it I can highlight the text again and then click on this button to remove the link and then you can see the link is now gone there are also some other formatting options for example you'll see this line here I've put you see I said this year I have a plan to do a few things and then there's a few different things now if I wanted to I could put these on a new line and I could turn them into bullet links by clicking on the bullet point and then separate them out into a bulleted list. If 
I wanted to remove those bullets I could just uh, click on the bullet list again and it would remove them now I'm just going to click on undo a few times and take my post back to where it was because uh, I was happy with it uh, as I originally wrote it but as you can see you can apply some different options um, also if I wanted if I changed this to a heading and made it like a heading 3 uh, I could also click on the center align button and have it aligned in the center of the blog post and um, so th there are quite a number of different options that you can that you can choose um, also if, if I show you how to insert an image if you just click on the insert image button it comes up with a find window and then you could choose any image that you've got maybe on your system that you want to insert and there's a lovely image of me and if you click on the image you'll see you get some resize handles so you can make the image larger or smaller and also at the top you'll see there's left align make inline and then float right so I'm going to click on float right and as you can see the image will, will be on the right hand side of the text now I don't actually want that lovely image of me in my blog post so I'm going to click on it and I'm just going to hit the delete key and it's actually been removed the bottom box you'll see here allows you to put some tags on your key uh, on your blog post so here you would ideally put uh, some keywords that you're targeting but not too many you don't want to overdo it and um, so if, if for instance this is going on my blog my personal blog um, I might tag it with my own name John Dean um, and you can put in as many tags as you want but as I say you don't really want to overdo it once I'm happy with my uh, blog post all I need to do then is come down here and click on the save draft button and Market Samurai will save that for you on your local machine uh, ready for publishing um, at a later date now that's all I'm going to show you in this video in a separate video I'm going to show you how to connect to your WordPress direct blog and publish this blog post um, but for now I just want you to your action step for today is to go into the publish content module and get used to using the editor and save a few drafts of different um, articles and blog posts that you've written um, ready for us to publish to our blog